Has understanding math been so difficult for you? Then go to the comment section and type H-A-R-D, hard. But if all maths is to you is an easy stroll in the park, then you could kindly go to the comment section and just type easy. You know why you were asked to do that? That's to show you and everyone watching this video to see for yourselves how more than 70% of people have serious struggles with mathematics. Are you one of them? Well, I'd see for myself in the comment section. Then, I'm tempted to ask myself, why exactly is mathematics still studied, when all it does is to create problems? However, more than the problems created by maths are the problems you have in your lecture halls. The bigger problem is definitely how you were taught mathematics, because contrary to popular opinion, mathematics is easy, actually. Mathematics should never be the reason why you should quit scientific and technical subjects. Did you abort your childhood dream because of math? I hope it isn't too late, but again, Mathematics is easy, actually, and that's exactly what you'll be getting here, as I'll be showing you in this video 5 ways to make mathematics truly easy for yourself, like it is for me. <laughs> and trust me, not to just inform you, nah. I would inform and impact you as well, and you'll be leaving here with tips and techniques that would make you keep mathematics firmly under your feet forever. Stick around until the end of this video and I'll be showing you the secret weapon hidden inside you that can be maximized to make mathematics easier for you. Let's dive into it. The very first and best way to make math truly easy is first to practice every day. In fact, practice as much as you can. For now, let's not say perfect, but let's say practice makes mathematicians. Mathematics is like an instrument, say guitar or piano, where the more you play and practice, the more skillful you get. Then, once you go off for a while, you become rusty. So, like the instrument, if there's an important tip to help you learn maths easier, then it's that you practice. Spend at least 30 minutes every day to practice math questions, and you mustn't get tired of this. You practice classworks and assignments over and over again to get more familiar. While practicing, when your teacher assigns a certain number of problems for homework, and you don't feel like you can fully understand, you might need to try a few extra problems. That is, going beyond the limits your teacher placed on you. And not just classworks, but get exam questions as well and practice the harder ones. Like I said, it's not what you practice once and stop. It's perfectly fine if you practice the same question over and over again till you master it. By solving these exam questions, you're making yourself ready to smash every question that's thrown at you. Not just with perfection, but with some crazy speed. And if you think mathematics isn't worth such sacrifices, trust me, that's not true. You could meet a programmer to tell you his story. And he'll make you realize that mathematics helps logical reasoning. And that exactly is what programming entails. You definitely can't write a line of codes without putting your logic to work. At some point, coding even literally becomes mathematics because you'll need to apply your knowledge of addition, subtraction, and the likes to write lines of code. And you know where a programmer started his foundation from? It's mathematics, of course. Like coding, mathematics is like solving problems, and it prepares you for a lifetime of solutions. Or you could meet the architect whose job description entails countless calculations that must be done accurately. And where do you think all of that started from? It's mathematics again. Well, what many don't know about mathematics is that it's an endless adventure, just as life is. And if you were able to escape it during your stint in academia, it'll surely come back to haunt you later on. You will someday need to help your 10-year-old daughter with her maths assignment, and you wouldn't want to appear as a clueless dad or mom. Mathematics is one of those life hacks that you'll always need later in life. Like English, mathematics is a language as well. Yes, it actually is. It's a technical language that makes you stand out from the rest. And if you've ever learned the language, then you can learn maths too. Let's check out the next point here. And it's that you debunk every myth you've heard about maths. You never become a master at what you hate. Or have you found any chefs who hate food? I don't think so. But here's what I'm driving at. You can't find maths easy when you believe it's hard. I know you probably are watching this video as a student who's been trapped in the unbreakable chains of misunderstanding mathematics. But here's what you don't understand. Mathematics has different levels of complexity. And as a human, generally, one of your needs should be to understand at least the basics of mathematics, whether school demands that or not. I get that you find it too difficult and boring, but do you know the number 1000 is the very first number from 1 to 1000 that has the letter A in it? Wow, that got you thrilled and thinking, well, let's do a little more. Tell me in the comment section which number is common among every single odd number. Yes, all odd numbers have a number in common. What is it? I'd like to know in the comment section. Multiply 1089 by 9. What answer did you get? Did you notice that the answer was 9801? That's 1089 turned backwards. Trust me, mathematics isn't actually boring. You've only been lied to, 
And rather than make your findings, you decided to play along, upholding a myth that was never true. You see, most people don't hate maths because they want to. It's either caused by their hatred for a teacher or their belief of the myths about mathematics. Come to think of it, how did you find yourself hating maths? You believe the myth, it was taught by your worst teacher, or there's something more? You can actually share with us in the comment section. Well, regardless of what the case is, after this video, I'm expecting that you go sit before your maths textbook and say, maths, I find you to be different. And while you do that, remember the third solution that maths is not like other subjects. It has a solid purpose, reasoning, logic, and different ways to solve it. It's applicable around the world. And as a result, you must understand where a particular formula or equation or concept was derived from. By understanding the origin and circumstances, you could just find it easier to approach the problem. Don't you feel thrilled at the thought of you thinking like Pythagoras? Well, I am. But if you're not, then the fourth remedy could be for you, and it's the internet. The internet has made the study of maths 10 times easier and better than it was many years ago. Now you can download questions, sign up for classes for topics you find difficult, ask questions on Quora, or even do a random Google search and somehow you will get a solution. Now pause and think of that maths problem you needed help with. Write it out and remember to share and find solutions on the internet. The more you explore and discuss, not only with your teachers and classmates but in online communities as well, the better you are. You can also play games that are related to math so that it becomes a part of your fun activity and not a stress point. Yes, you should play games too. Remember the wordplay games that help your familiarity with English words? There are tons of math games as well to improve your logic. And again, you can watch videos on various platforms to understand topics that you find comparatively difficult. And here's the final solution to an easy mathematical experience for you. It's actually a command. Don't memorize math. And that's it. Now, here are a few additional tips to help you out. Revisit your mathematical foundation and clean your basics ideas, including revising and going over them from time to time. You remember 12 times 12, don't you? Revisiting these basics will help you form clear derivations and solve harder questions and problems. Apply mathematics in every aspect of your life. The more you apply it to real situations, the better you get. And where and when do you apply? When you find yourself sitting at a restaurant, calculate the GST. Even when you're sitting comfortably in a car, calculate the distance and speed. Also, you should break down questions carefully before attempting them. Break them to their smallest pieces. Never rush through math questions. Always take your time. Finally, ensure you study with a group from time to time. It helps the accuracy of your workings. And lucky you if you have family members who are good at maths. Always reach out to them and let them out you through. And yeah, I promise to reveal a hidden weapon in us to make maths easier. Well, it's quite funny, but it's still got some things in it to see you through your conquest over mathematics. The gift is the brain. Yeah, the brain. Your brain has so much potential. Much more potential to understand the most difficult maths question. Yes, it does. Because even the most difficult maths question was formed by a brain. But what's more, there are even very specific parts of the brain that are used for numbers and calculations. So if you decide to flee maths, don't you think those parts in the brain would be redundant? Well, not anymore, and surely not after watching this video. And now that you've seen that mathematics is truly easy, ensure you remember the first condition, practice. And there's no better time to practice than now. Oh, let me give you something to practice. Let's do the basics. In 10 seconds, what's 8 times 6 times 9 divided by 6? It's actually not as tricky as you think. It's super easy. Remember, I told you to break down questions well before attempting them. All you needed to do was break it down and cancel the first 6 with the second 6. And then, 8 times 9 equals 72. That's all. Who got it right? Well, whether you did or didn't, it's time to create questions and practice on your own, and you could go beyond the basics. But before you begin your practice, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more quality content like this. Until next time, peace out.